My name is Cassandra and I buy groceries. Lots and lots of groceries. As a matter of fact, I grocery shop every weekend. So I'm a once a week grocery shopper. I'm curious, how do you shop for groceries? Are you one of those people that meal plan for an entire month and buy all of your groceries in bulk at the beginning of every month? Do you shop every other weekend? Are you that person who like runs by the grocery store every day after work and picks up just what you need for that day? Comment below, I'm really curious about that. Anyways, I usually make two big trips to Costco each month. As a matter of fact, this video will include my second Costco trip for the month of April. In between my Costco trips, I typically go to Aldi and recently I've been going to Walmart. Now in this haul, I'm going to visit Costco and then I actually go purely for convenience as it turns out not to save any money, I go right across the street to Target and pick up the items that I need in smaller sizes that I couldn't find at Costco. So give this video a thumbs up for a Costco and Target grocery haul. Consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribing is absolutely free. It just means you'll get notified in your subscription feed each time I upload a new video. If you actually wanna receive a push notification on your phone, you just ring that little bell and click all, and then you'll get notified on your phone each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Before I start on my haul, I want to take you inside Costco with me and show you a couple of items that I found that I think are good deals. Some things that are new, at least to me, I've never seen them in my Costco before in case you're on the market for them. And there's a couple of things that I want to ask you about that I really wanted to buy, but I wasn't sure if I should buy them in bulk, having never tried them before. So the first deal that I found was this set of quarter size aluminum cookie sheet pans for 16 bucks for four of them. I think they're really pretty. I didn't need any at this time, but I really liked them. Also, I've only been a member of Costco for a few months, but I've never seen golf clubs there before. I don't play golf. I don't know much about golf, so I don't really know if this is a good deal or not. But since I'd never seen them there before, in case you are on the market for some golf clubs and you would know, here are the prices of the golf clubs that I saw at Costco this week. Now this is something I actually filmed to text to my husband because I know he's been looking at something similar. It just wasn't this brand. Um, so this is I think a Bowflex brand and it's select tech. So basically you select a size sort of situation. You turn the dial and adjust the amount of weight that you lift. Now this I am curious about myself. This is a pro form Tour de France um, bike and it's 400 bucks and I know that lots of the popular brand bikes will cost you a thousand or more dollars so if you've tried this one and you think it's good quality please let me know I also want to know about this chicken it looks tasty but this chicken right here next to it the Kevin's chicken chili verde I bought that last time and I did not like it at all which is why I resisted the urge to get the curry unless you've had tasted it and can vouch for it and I'm also super curious about the spin drift this looks and sounds really good to me but it's way more expensive than the Waterloo or other brands so I left with the Waterloo today but if you tell me that this spin drift is worth the money that it tastes great then I might just get it next time also what about the zero sugar Chobani I've had regular but never zero sugar at Costco today, I got two double boxes of cereal. The first is Lucky Charms. That's a request from my daughter, Evie. And the second is Honey Nut Cheerios. That's the request from my daughter, Issa. So we have a ton of cereal now that should last us quite a while. Typically when I go to Costco, I get the large bag of seedless lemons. I think they're around $7 and change, but Hmm, this is a bit lazy, so I'm paying a couple of extra dollars maybe because this is nine and change. But you get a ton of fresh squeezed lemon juice. There's no preservatives in it or anything like that. It is straight up lemon juice. It says like, I think it says what, like use it within six months or something after opening. Let me see. Um, it says, Okay, so it says refrigerate after opening and consume within 30 days of opening and that will not be a problem because I have been on my homemade lemonade kick. And this is going to save me time and really even though it literally cost me a couple of dollars extra, I think it's more juice than I could squeeze out of that one bag of lemons anyways. Okay. Middle age has suddenly hit me and I really feel like my neck, it's just looser than it was even six months ago. I saw this, 
I was going to ask any of you if you had purchased it before, if you'd tried it and if it actually works, but it was $25 off today, I believe. So I just went ahead and got it. So this is a um, tightening neck and decollage. Is that how you say that? Mm, you know what I mean? Right here. This is what I mean. This stuff. Um, and we're going to try it out. This is from Strevectin, the brand. And then I also got these giant bottles of Pantene shampoo and conditioner because this 38 ounce uh, bottle was... Okay, before the doorbell rang, I was saying that I got these giant bottles of Pantene Pro-V... No, not Pro-V. Pantene Essential Botanicals shampoo and conditioner this is the passion fruit and cocoa butter scent it's 38 fluid ounces and i think it was less than eight dollars i'll put the price up here on the screen but i don't know the scent just sounded good to me okay in my last costco haul you may have seen this this is a cauliflower keto lasagna you just microwave it the in inside here one of these is open there are four microwavable containers of this lasagna and I tried it out and I really like it. So I actually bought one box for my lunches at school this week and I actually bought this for another teacher at school um, who I gave one to last week and she really liked it and I told her the next time I went to Costco I would pick her up a box so this one is for Jody. Okay I got this giant pack of string cheese. You can never have enough cheese around here. Okay, never had this before, pretty excited to try it. And actually I'm gonna make euros tonight because these are round and they kind of look like non. Is that what you put? Wait, what do you put euros on? I don't even know anymore because I haven't, I rarely eat bread. Okay, but these are keto friendly cauliflower sandwich thins and it says carbs or toast. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna read on the box just to see if I can toast them in the toaster. But this says there's two grams of net carbs per serving. Sounds like something I definitely want to try and I'm going to. Okay, this giant bag of tortilla chips is for a birthday party that we are going tomorrow. And I'm gonna bring those tortilla chips and this giant thing of dip that I am getting to momentarily. As I frequently do, I got this six pack of Lunchables while I was at Costco because my daughter Evie just, she's obsessed with these. She just loves them that much. Speaking of obsessions, you know, you've seen it. If you've seen any of my other Costco hauls, I always get this big old bag of takeout crispy wings because they're so good in the air fryer. Um, I don't know, they seem a little pricey to me, but I haven't actually comparison shopped the price because I like them so much. Um, this bag costs just under $18, I believe, but I get them every time. And then here is the gyro slices that I mentioned. So I spotted these beef and lamb slices and thought, oh, that sounds good. And it sounds like a really easy dinner because these are heat and serve. So I also have, you know, I'm just going to add some, um, red onion, some cucumber, some sliced tomatoes, some tzatziki sauce, and it's going to be um, a tasty dinner. I hope. I've never actually tried them before. Okay, this um, giant tub of street corn dip is going to go with those, the big bag of tortilla chips that I'm taking to a birthday party tomorrow. I also got the feta cheese. I think that'll be pretty good on the euros or if I make a Greek salad to go um, as a side for dinner with the euros tonight. Is that how you say it? Is it euro? Hero? How do you say it? Um, I've got this large thing of salsa because we literally have about a tablespoon of salsa left in the jar in the refrigerator. A couple of grocery hauls back or more, I bought this giant thing of Kraft Singles and believe it or not, because Issa has a piece of cheese every single day in her lunch to school and I often have a slice of cheese on uh, the breakfast sandwich that I make for myself every morning. Um, we, we have gone through it. There's only a few slices left. So I got another big box of that. This is also a repeat buy. This is the second time I have bought Kirk, the Kirkland rotisserie chicken, chicken salad. I bought it in my last Costco haul. Is this focusing? And it was super delicious. And I ate it for lunch several days in a row. Looking forward to having it again. And then I still have some broccoli from my last trip to Costco. So this time I got green beans. So this week we will be having green beans as our green vegetable or broccoli pretty much all week long. All right, if we move this way, 
This is also a repeat buy. I got this um, 36 cans container of the Pringles chips. There are 12 cheddar cheese, 12 original, and 12 sour cream and onion. And again, this is what my daughter Issa takes to school with her in her lunches with her sandwich. Both of my children, Issa and Evie, are huge fans of these Pocky Sticks. So I got this pack, which is also a repeat buy. I don't see it at Costco every time I go, but when I do see it, I grab it because I like them so much. So this is a combo pack. It has three cookies and cream, six um, chocolate cream, and three strawberry cream um, containers or packages of biscuit sticks. Okay, the last time I bought dishwasher tabs, I did get the Kirkland brand, but they were... These look almost soft. The ones I bought, oh, here, they're right here. This is what I got last time, focus. But that was not an option this time, so I have never tried these, but um, you see what I have left over there, and I have plenty to last, you know, a couple more weeks probably, but I try to buy it before I run out of it, so I'm gonna try these this time. And then this week for snacks, the girls were very specific in their requests. Evie requested the Chewy Bars, which we were completely out of. And Issa requested Goldfish. So I got both of those while I was at Costco today. And then, of course, down here in the drink section, I don't think I've ever bought Waterloo. What I really wanted to buy was Spindrift Pineapple, but it was incredibly expensive, I feel like, for sparkling water. But if you've had it, if you've had Spindrift, please let me know if it's worth the price. I got this pack of 24 cans for less than $6, and I believe the 24 pack of the Spindrift was $12 and change. It may have been more than 24, I don't remember. But if you've had Spindrift, let me know. Is it worth the money? Because it sounded so good to me. It was sparkling water with some fruit juice added in. But I didn't get it. But I need to lay off the diet root beer, so I'm trying to get back into sparkling water. Um, just about every time I go to Costco, I pick up this giant container of Coke Zero because everybody around here drinks their one can of Coke Zero a day except for me. And then I got um, two packs of bottled water because you can never beat the price of the Kirkland. Bottled water, 40 bottles for less than four bucks. Do it. All right, moving on to the Target haul now, which is primarily groceries, but I'm kicking things off with the non-groceries. So we go to a once a month game night with our friends and I decided I wanted to get Cards Against Humanity. I have played it years ago, but I've never owned it. So I thought this would just be a new fun game to take to an adult game night. So I got that and I did get a couple of add-on packs. So I got the 2000s Nostalgia and the 90s nostalgia pack, which I have to tell you, just about everything in Target in the clothing section today was all 90s themed. Britney Spears, lots of 90s bands, lots of 90s cartoons like Flintstones and Jetsons. You could get 90s everything in the juniors and young adults section. Anyways, these items are actually like Easter basket style gifts. My children are older. The chances that I'm actually gonna put them in an Easter, ba Easter basket are probably not good, but um, the Easter Bunny will technically bring them things. So they're each getting a pair of swim goggles for the pool. And then one child it loves card games and she's going to get this Uno flip card game. And then this um, butterfly shirt, which I feel like this is made to look like, remember, again, in the late 90s when you could go to a theme park and they would airbrush you on uh, you could pick a design and they, I don't know, it was like a little spray paint gun kind of and they would airbrush you a shirt. So this kind of reminds me of that. And then for the other child, again, there's her goggles. This um, 90s Aerosmith band tee. She's kind of into band tees right now. And then she's also into coloring and art. So I got her this World of Wonders um, coloring book that I think that she'll just like to you know, just sit around and color whenever she has a few minutes of spare time. So that's kind of their Easter basket style gifts. I got this pack of Root Beer Zero because that's what I like to drink when everyone else around here is having Coke Zero. And then, of course, not this stuff. That's just out to cook dinner. The other things I got at Target include this cauliflower, which I'm going to make, you know, keto mac and cheese, which basically just means cauliflower mac and cheese one night. These cucumbers, these are the mini cucumber variety. And this yogurt dip, 
man, my camera doesn't want to focus today, um, is for the Greek dish that I'm making um, later. I've never had this brand of that dip, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, right here I've got, I forgot cottage cheese. Normally I would buy cottage cheese at Costco in the giant tub, but I didn't put it on the list. I didn't think about it. And I didn't, I must not have saw it because if I'd seen it, it would have, you know, rung a bell for me and I would have got it, but I didn't. So when I saw it at Target, I picked up a container there. Um, this is not for anything in particular, but I just like to keep uh, frozen peas and carrots in the freezer because it's just great for meals, especially with chicken, in my opinion. My girls have really been enjoying microwavable rice recently and it's just a super easy side dish so i just picked up another bag of that um we're almost out of lunch meat and so i had to get more for school lunches this week so i have that the girls have been asking for ice cream on repeat i have never had this brand of ice cream it's called favorite day the sign at target said it was a new brand and that it's only available at target and so i just got the chocolate for the girls to try okay this is something I'm super excited about. I have been spending a ridiculous amount of money on the vanilla sweet cream cold brew at Starbucks. So I'm going to attempt to make my own. So I bought myself this little gadget. That's my phone, sorry. It's a milk frother and I'm gonna try to froth up my creamer before I pour it into this Starbucks cold brew. So I got two bottles of that and I also have two bottles of sugar-free vanilla creamer and you may be wondering why didn't you just get the one larger bottle instead of two regular size bottles and the reason is because one the larger one does not fit in the door of my refrigerator and two this is actually one for home and one for school because I like to take one to school to put in um, the teacher lounge refrigerator to share um, and we are out so I bought another one of those and then I got this pack of bread for sandwiches for lunches this week the next day and I found three items that are 10 out of 10 recommend and I want to share them with you here so okay the first one is this and basically they are you know pretend bread but made out of cauliflower and um, I guess other vegetables too let me see does it tell me oh fresh cauliflower eggs Parmesan cheese um, nutritional yeast. Okay, so the ingredients are super simple, but if you are on the keto diet or you're living a low carb lifestyle, or maybe you have celiac disease or other autoimmune issues and you need to be gluten free, which I uh, gave up wheat probably about a year and a half ago for autoimmune reasons. Okay, I'm taking one out to show you. Okay, this is what they look like frozen. Little sandwich rounds. I just put them in the toaster. I'm gonna insert a picture of the gyros that I made. Delicious. Now, I couldn't tell you how they compared regular bread because I haven't had it in so long or what would be comparable to this. Um, non, okay. I couldn't tell you, or pita bread. Yeah, I can't, I, I'm not sure how well these compare to non or pita bread if you are a person who can eat wheat. But if you can't, oh my God, these are so good. I sincerely hope Costco has them. The next time I go back, I'm gonna insert a picture. The second item that is a 10 out of 10 actually goes with that. I got this at Costco also. This is a uh, Daphne's beef and lamb. I'm gonna say this is pronounced gyro. You tell me if I'm wrong. Gyro slices. There's actually two individual bags inside this larger bag. I made one bag last night and I'm going to say, I mean, it actually feeds a lot. So my husband and I ate them and there were still, each ate three open-faced gyros and there were still some slices left over. So I really do feel like this serves quite a bit. Let's see. It actually says 12 servings per container, which would be six two ounce servings per bag. I think that definitely sounds accurate. These were really tasty and I just kind of like pan fried them and warmed them through. So good. Okay, this is the Italian Volcano 100% Organic Lemon Juice. It says about 40 lemons in every bottle and it's actually a two pack and it tastes really good. As a matter of fact, let me grab something. Okay, this, this is a no. Like sometimes you get this like at your local grocery store. It doesn't really, I mean, it's okay for cooking, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't taste that great when I add it to water. But this, this does and I, I'm totally going to buy all three of these things again. The bottled lemon juice, the cauliflower sandwich thins, 
and these beef and lamb slices from Costco. They were so good. If you've made it all the way to the end of this grocery haul, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, ring the bell if you wanna get notifications, and I hope I'll see you right back here this coming week on Thursday and Sunday for a brand new video. I typically post grocery hauls on Thursdays and mom life motivation on Sundays. See you again soon.